a small clarification on this problem. So we have a point P, we have the two coordinates which are SE. So the question is that, so let me show it here. So we took as the SE and the plus SE, which is this part plus that part, and then plus then SE minus SP, which is equal to L. So we took this one, yes, but why why we didn't why we didn't take SE plus SE plus SP equal to L? So why not this one? Okay, if you check it, so the SP coordinate moves, so the length of the SP coordinate changes. Okay, but we are interested in fixed length, so this length and that length and this one is constant. It doesn't it doesn't change. The length is constant. This one may decrease. This one may increase. Oh, oh this one is not possible. But anyway, that the coordinates will change, but the length of the chord will be the constant. But if you change, if you took the SP coordinate, then as it moves with reference to fixed axis then the chord length will not be constant. That's the reason that we did not... So, in this case, chord length is not constant. So, if that is point P moves up, the length will decrease. But you can check, in this case, the coordinate is fixed. I mean, the length is fixed. Length is a constant. But it is also constant up some limit. So if point P reaches here, then this one also will not have a constant length. But we are not interested in that depth, you know. We just we are just interested what is the velocity of p. So if at some point we find the velocity of p and we know that that's constant, then we are not interested in what happens here, what happens here, because we know that if a velocity is here five, then it is five here, five here, five here, everywhere it is five. Okay. That's the that's the clarification for this problem.